Jeff Blank been talking here today with the Audubon Boys Shuttle Hurdle as they just took fourth place here at the state tournament. Let's talk with that Jackson Jensen who led things off today. Jackson, uh, how did you feel coming out of the blocks? Uh, I felt really good actually coming out of the blocks. Felt like that was my first two. Hurdle's pretty good. First of two sections uh, here in two A. Three and four and uh, Jessup, uh, West Lyon, Davis, Davis, Davis County. Guys are fast. I was just Jessup opened up the well on the running Kruger on this leg. Jessup, Lake Mills. Taylor, tell me what this is. Uh, Jessup, meant Lake to be Mills, a part West Lyon, and Davis County. For the last four years and collect four medals. Uh, it's amazing, you know, Audubon's, we've had hurdlers that go way back, you know, ever since I was in uh, middle school, you know, that's something I've been wanting to do, and uh, to yeah, step in as a freshman and be a part of this for four West years, Lyon, it's Lake special Mills, to say, no one and I can say we've had a top four finish four years in a row, you know, so it's something there special I'll look back on for sure. Tyler, Tyler, you said that you felt better than you did in previous years. How much better? Uh, you know, I didn't feel like I had a wall for eight, nine, ten. Like I did in the previous And uh, I thought maybe I was a step late out of the box, but other than that, I feel like I held my own for a little while. And I felt like I finished a lot stronger than I did in the prelims. Let's talk now with Skyler Schultz ran that third leg. Skyler, how did you feel here today? Uh, well, today I felt like I got out of the blocks on the break a lot better than I did on the prelims. Two. And then once I got out, I got in rhythm and I could I could see the guy on the inside ahead of me. And I was just, just going to catch him. How clean a race did you have this year's great uh, it was, it was one of my better of the year. Didn't clip any hurdles and my steps were pretty consistent throughout and I just got in a good rhythm. I know you guys asked if there was anybody that got, you know, yellow flagged in here. How much does that weigh on your guys' mind with as many yellows as we've had this year? I mean, we were coming into the day, we were discussing with each other how slow we were getting out of getting out of the break. So we said push it a little bit, but make sure we're safe and don't get ourselves the yellow flag. All right, Nolan Smith ran that anchor leg. Nolan looked strong today. I think that's the strongest I've seen you look. How'd you feel? Uh, that one felt better than it has all year, obviously. To finally be back, I don't know, just something about this Saturday feeling you get. When you're in a finals race, you know you got a chance to win, that you're going to go out, get some more adrenaline, and go compete. How was the stamina? Really, really, really good today. A lot better than Thursday and in districts. So yeah, I thought I finished a lot better. You know, it's all about getting in a groove early. And those first two hurdles are so important, and I hit my first two about as perfect as I could. And it was just, I was in a groove after that. And you know, that was obviously my best race, so I'm happy with it. We ran sub one, which was our goal. Took home fourth place, so um, always uh, four years, and we were top four all four times. You know, can't complain about that too much. Yeah. Skylar, tell me about the, this event, the personnel uh, you guys have oh, yeah, left on the roster. Can year, you guys keep uh, this I'm tradition success going, you feel like? I mean, we got me and Jack coming back next year, and I think we'll be able to keep what we're doing going from this year and maybe improve a little bit. And then we have some younger kids that are coming up that we feel like can give us a chance to run well and maybe get back down here again next year.